And hopefully the next one is a little more interesting. Mickey D's and this one was kind of a tough call. Let's see. Okay, Coca-Cola, another, another very old, very mature company. Actually, wait, this isn't Coca-Cola. This is something else? This can't be the Coca-Cola company. No, yeah, I thought so. KO is the Coca-Cola company. What is this then? Coca-Cola Consolidated. Produces, markets, and distributes non-alcoholic beverages, primarily products of the Coca-Cola Company in the United States. The company offers sparkling beverages as is carbonated water. So it's kind of a it's kind of a partner? Company was formerly known as Coca-Cola Bottling Co. Consolidated and changed its name to Coca-Cola Consolidated in January 2019. How does that differ from Coca-Cola Company? I want to look at Coca-Cola real quick. Technically not against the rules. I want to see what Coca-Cola has to say about what they are. Because I think I knew that Coca-Cola and the Coca-Cola Bottling Company were different companies? This says manufactures, markets, and sells. While this one says... Produces, markets, and distributes. Bottling Partners Wholesale's company was founded in 1886 and is headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. This was founded in, or incorporated rather, in 1980. Okay, so this is the Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Which it's kind, it's still kind of weird that those are different companies. I don't really see the reason for that. But you know, whatever, I'm not here to judge. Actually, no, screw that, I am here to judge. Let's go ahead and do some judging, shall we? Revenues are flat. What's the deal with that? I don't know what that is, but it looks disgusting. I'm judging all this stuff. I'm judging the stock. I'm judging the ads. There is nothing here that is safe from my judgment. Wow. Went up over $100 from May to June. Went up over, in, in, in a month. What happened at the start of May to make this rocket like that? Was it this, perhaps? Moody's upgrade? Or was it this, this first quarter report? I don't see why it, would, why, why it would be the first quarter report, because first quarter... Empty, wait, first quarter is missing from here. There's fourth quarter 2020, and then there's second quarter of 2021. First quarter, first quarter is missing. We'll call the consolidated. Uh, how am I supposed to find information in, in this wall of text? Moody's paragraphs. Have you heard of it? The upgrade also reflects the company's strong results in the face of a difficult year due to COVID dis uh, disruptions, which affected the supply chain and closed information distribution venues. Company improved credit metrics, re reduced debt. KO has approximately 27% ownership of CCC's outstanding comment and class B. Uh, this isn't CCC though, this is Coke. That's literally the ticker, Coke. Or is it... Uh... Oh, CCC stands for Coca-Cola Consolidated, I think. I missed that part, yes. Operating a financial profile falls in the low ba range. I'm not sure what that means.
First quarter 2021 net sales increased 8.3%. Gross profit increased for 43 million or 10%. Oh, huh, that's not bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Physical case volume increased 4.8. Sparkling category volume increased 4.5. Still beverage volume increased 5.5. Huh, it looks pretty solid. Could be worth watching. Oh no, not simply Wall Street. Third quarter dividend. It's kind of a meh, meh dividend. Wow, earnings per share is massive. And PE is kind of low. Huh, that kind of indicates solid, solid buy to me. High, high earnings per share, low PE. Cristiano Ronaldo shorted it. And Cristiano Ronaldo can suck my... Never mind, this is the family show. Um, I like it. I like it. Uh, especially that combination of high earnings per share and low PE. That is a winning combo, in my opinion. So I am going to go ahead and give this a buy, I think. I like it. I like Coke. I like, I like, I like, I like sticking my nose all, all, all up in... Uh, we're still talking about the company, right? <laughs> uh, humor. <laughs>